Well, folks, this is Guruji online, and I am Sanjay Singh speaking from this platform. Today we are going to solve some questions pertaining to entropy of gases. So this is the question number one. This is an ideal gas, and this is the graph between pressure and volume. So this gas basically. This is at temperature T minus delta T, and this is T plus delta T. Basically, ideal gas is at temperature T initially. So this is the I point. Now, it is making four processes from I to B, I to A, I to C, and I to D. These are all reversible processes. So the question is when the entropy changes the gas undergoes at moves as it moves reversibly from i to a b c and d so we have to find out whether this process entropy will be the greatest and where it will be the least and in between like that we have to grade all these four processes so for solving this you know delta s that is the change in entropy is nothing but n r ln Vf V final minus V initial plus N Cv long Tf on T initial. So this is the formula for change in entropy for a reversible process. Derivation of this is very simple. If you want, I can give that. So now let us apply this formula for all these four processes. when the gas is this process is moving from i to b we are seeing that temperature is is increasing by delta t and volume is also increasing means from i to b volume is increasing and this or we can write delta v this is also increasing now from i to a delta v is constant means zero because volume is constant there is no change in the volume but of course delta t is increasing this temperature is increasing by here it is t and here it is t plus delta t here it is t minus delta t hmm? here of course it is t minus delta t from i to c again volume is zero and 
delta t is of its negative density. It is coming down. Here it is t, it is t minus delta t. And from i to d, delta v is basically decreasing. From this to this, it is decreasing. Volume is it is compressive process and delta t is also decreasing. Now, with this, from this formula, we can grade all the processes. Here, this is positive and this is also positive. Here, this is only positive and this is zero. Means this is not changing. This will be one. Ln n will be one. This factor will become zero. Only this factor is there. So this is suppose a. Now here only one factor is decreasing and this is factor is zero then it is c and in this case both the things are decreasing so naturally this will be the release so this will have maximum the maximum entropy change then process a then process then a will have a will be more than c and c will be more than so this is how we can grade the entropy changes so i hope you understood this problem now we will go to the second problem This is our second question. This is the volume of an ideal gas changes from 1 liter to 3 liters in a reversible isothermal expansion. The entropy change is also given that is 15 joule per Kelvin. Find the moles present in the gas. So we already know what is entropy change that is equal to This entropy final minus final is equal to M R ln V F on V I plus N C V ln P F upon Now, for isothermal expansion, for this, Tf is equal to Ti, means this power will become 0, because ln 1 will be 0. So this portion is only remaining. So we can write this as m is equal to delta s upon r ln v upon vi or this is given as delta s is nothing but 15 joule per Kelvin upon 8.31 Joule per mole into Kelvin into long, this is 3 
Correct. You can solve this, you will get one point. This is the answer. Let us go to the third problem now. This is the third question. It says find the entropy change for 3 mole of aluminium when its temperature is raised from 10 Kelvin to 15 Kelvin. Given molar specific heat of aluminium is given by basically BTQ where B is this much. So we have delta S is nothing but delta Q upon T. We can write this thing as MCV dT upon T. This is Ti to Tf. Correct? Means this is an Ti to Tf. Cv is B T Q upon T. This T was this will become two. So this will give you and B this is 10 to 15 and this is T square dt or we can write it as your N is 3 mole into B is your 3.15 10 raised to minus 5 10 raised to 3 by 3 sorry this is 15 15 minus correct This will come as 0 0.075 Joule per Kelvin. So very simple problem. Now we will go to the next problem. This is the fourth question. Now in this question, a 50 gram ice cube with temperature minus 50 degree centigrade is dropped in a lake and water of the lake is at 15 degree centigrade. If a specific heat of ice is this much, then find the entropy of ice cube lake system at thermal equilibrium. So basically, you are dropping, this is suppose this is the lake and you are dropping a 50 gram ice cube and this is at minus 15 degree centigrade and this is at 15 degree centigrade. Hmm? So since lake is a vast reservoir of water which is at 15 degree centigrade then this ice will when it when it will be dropped uh, it will not change the temperature basically of this water because it is a vast this is at thermal equilibrium basically the temperature will be maintained at 15 degree centigrade but let us see what happens to the ice I now I this ice is at minus 15 degree centigrade it will go to the 
0 degree centigrade and then it will go to 15 degree centigrade. When it goes from minus 15 to 0 degree centigrade, this ice, then what will be the delta Q? Sorry, what will be the entropy? That is delta Q upon T is nothing but M C I. This is for the specific heat of ice into delta T upon this is T. So, what will be this? Sorry, this will be basically, this will be like this. So, this, this will be MCI and this will be DT. This will be your dt upon t or we can write it as m c i long t f upon t i correct this will be nothing but point 0.5 kg into 2220 joule per kg k into long this will be final temperature is 0 degree and when you convert this thing as into Kelvin this will be like this and initial temperature were minus 15 degree so this will be 258 when you will solve this will be 6.27 joule we have reached at this stage but ice is still at 0 degree so this will this ice will be converted from the solid to water and in this process what will be the entropy that is s is equal to delta q upon t that is M into L. This is latent, latent heat of ice fusion divided by T or we can write it as 0 0.5 kg into latent heat of ice at fusion is basically it is 3, 3, 3 into 10 raised to 3 joule per kg. This is divided by T. T is at 0 degree because this is happening at 0 degree. So it will be basically 273 Kelvin. This is centigrade. You can convert it and this will give you. Sixty one point three joule per Kelvin. Sorry, now we have reached here. Now 
the water is there at 0 degree ice water it has converted from solid to water now this water 0 degree water its temperature will change from 0 degree to 15 degree and how much entropy will be there this is s1 this is s2 this is s3 and here again m cv Here basically it will be a specific heat of water into long Tf upon Ti. This will be nothing but 0 0.05 into this is specific heat of water is 4190 joule per kg Kelvin correct this is kg into long now here the final temperature is 15 degree this is 0 degree so for this will be 288 273 plus 15 288 divided by 273 and this will give you 11.2 joule per Kelvin. Now the total entropy you can find out S1 plus S2 plus S3 is nothing but when you will add up all these three it will come as 78.46 joule per so this is a entropy calculation in case this question is so now we will go to the last question that is fifth question So this is the fifth question and this is the last question of this video also. It says a rubber band with a spring constant K is equal to 40 Newton per meter is stressed by 1 centimeter at 50 degree centigrade temperature. On further stretching by what rate the entropy of the rubber band will it decrease. So let us first, it's a different kind of question. So let us first suppose this is a rubber band when you will stretch it basically this behaves like a your spring and here When you will stretch the it is coils are there inside this and when you will stretch these coils will align. In one direction. The more they align the more they will become orderly and consequently entropy will decrease that means when the rubber band is at its unstressed form it is at the it is having maximum entropy in the state of when it is in the state of 
unstitch. The more you will stitch, the more it will molecules will align or you can say coils will align and entropy will decrease. So let us see how to formulate this thing. We know first law first law thermodynamics. That is delta E means change in internal energy is nothing but delta Q minus delta W. Correct? Delta W or dW is nothing but your F dx this is the work done and delta Q divided by T is nothing but your delta S or we can write it as ds into T is nothing but del D, D Q. Hmm? So we can write this as D E is equal to T D S minus F dx for very very small small displacement or small uh, this thing movements because this stretching and all it's very really small to the change in internal energy we can fairly assume as zero that means your tds is nothing but equal to f dx This is basically this, this will be nothing but this is minus this thing. So this will be this will become plus. So this will become minus minus TDS or F DS by DX. We can write it as. F upon T that is minus. So this is the change in entropy and this is decreasing as we are applying force or we are stretching the rubber band. So this is the this is this is this rate we have to find out. This, this we can write it as minus f is nothing but ax upon t k we know x is one centimeter this is 40 newton and this is your 50 degree centigrade that is 273 plus 
Okay. If you put all these values, then this rate entropy uh, change, change in entropy, rate of change in entropy with respect to distance, with respect to elongation, will come as 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 joule per. This is rate of change of entropy and this is how it will decrease on further stretching. So this is how we can solve this problem. I hope you understood that it's a very important problem and with these questions you must have some idea about the entropy and how to solve the entropy problems. It's a very important chapter. So I will come uh, with more problems like this pertaining to entropy. However, my next video will be on Carnot cycle and that is also very important. So wait for my video and subscribe my channel. If you like these questions, if you like these videos, please do subscribe. Thanks you. Thanks for now.